right, guys, it's Glenn from GlennCarCollection.com. We had some heavy rain last night, but for some reason, it seems like there's still some salt in the road. But anyway, so I wanted to show you how the adaptive cruise control works and the lane keeping assist works. Typically, I do not use this. I like driving myself. So yesterday, I had to go down to Princeton. So I had a long highway drive and I tried it. I didn't have my camera with me. So I figured I'd do it another time here and kind of show you uh, how it works. So just wait till this divider's off, this construction divider, because the lane keeping isn't that great. Now you could do two things, regular cruise control or the, uh, the lane keeping and the distance, so you can press one of two buttons here, which I'll press in a second. This We're coming up to a bad intersection. It's not that I don't trust the brakes here, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna trust the computer on this. I just think I could do it better. Now you do have to hold it. So I do, if you see how my hand is now, I do have to hold it. If I take that away, it'll give me uh, some messages to grab the wheel, and I believe it would disengage if I do not grab the wheel. I don't know how well you're gonna see this, so we're gonna try it, okay? So we're gonna do adaptive cruise control right now. We could press it once for just cruise or once for the lane keeping. So we're gonna do the lane keeping and this is gonna, uh, now it's driving itself. And actually that isn't fast enough for this highway. So, all right, so now I'm gonna try it. And uh, it's doing the lane keeping, but not that great. And I'm gonna try to signal and change lanes and see when it, when the surface is there, it doesn't keep me in the lane anymore. All right, so let's try the middle lane. So we'll do this for safety. All right, so, and I'm gonna lower my speed here. All right, so. All right, so let's do it now. It's got the lane keeping. And it seems like it's turning last minute, right? Maybe because I'm looking up far enough ahead but it kind of goes off to the side turns, goes off to the sides like a like a new driver. And now it's signaling yellow because I got to put my hands on it and this will relinquish control back to me. And now somebody just cut in front of me, so see how it break by itself, which is cool. All right, now it's telling me it's going to relinquish and that's what that red is. So now if I grab it, it goes back to normal. It's going to keep me pace with him in front of me. And the problem is if I saw, if a policeman was behind me, I think he would pull me over for being drunk because it doesn't do such a great job lane keeping. Now what we have to do is put this in perspective. It is a thousand times better than my 2013 Audi S8, which I don't think had lane keeping at all, but it had the adaptive cruise control. Out vehicle on shoulder all right, head. so now what I'm gonna do, so it wanted me to grab, it was signaling me to grab. I braked, so I disengaged the whole thing. So this is kind of, I just don't trust the car over me. And I've done some lane changing things. So let's try the lane change again. And uh, the car didn't do the lane change there because I didn't have the cruise control on, but I'm gonna try this again. And I think this is why you honestly have so many slow people in the left lane. And I feel that the reason why is because they just set the cruise control at the speed limit and then they're done driving. Now I would like to accelerate the speed and you could do it in five mile an hour increments. So it pushed me up there in five mile an hour increments. Now I have to grab the wheel. So if I'm gonna grab the wheel like this, can I just steer it? So I know people say it's refreshing, but maybe I'm old school. And let me know in the comments whether you use the adaptive cruise control. Now I believe it goes one step further and you could change lanes with it by signaling, but I haven't had such good success. So it will change lanes eventually, but it'll keep changing lanes. So when it goes in the left or right, here's another thing I don't like, it'll keep you in somebody's blind spot. So it's keeping me in pace with that truck, but it's oblivious to her in the blind spot. And that's what kind of creeps me out because the rule here in New Jersey or in New York is if there's an inch in traffic, you switch lanes to try to weave your way around people. And that's where I don't think the consequences are really good. I don't trust it in traffic because that pickup truck or that van could easily switch lanes at the last minute to try to get a gap in traffic. So now here's gonna be a tough part where the lanes are kind of like wishy-washy. They don't really, whoever painted this lines must be drunk on the road. So let's see if the car could actually do it. And again, I have to keep my hand there Let's count the seconds as if I take it away. So I take it away right now. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. 
So after four, I already have to do it. And uh, I'm gonna up the speed a little bit here. Again, you could do five, you could do one mile an hour increments or, or five. So let's try this here. So now the road, roads are wishy-washy here. They did a bad job. It's not straight, the lanes. So as you can see, it's kind of struggling there. And now after four seconds, it asks us to touch. I'm not gonna to touch it and see what happens. Uh, there's traffic ahead. All right, so it is slowing us down for traffic. Waze told me to go this way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So it's breaking hard now, breaking hard. You feel that? Breaking hard. So that was a good test. We actually saw that the braking actually worked. Now you could set it if you want it to break early. You could set it if you want it to break middle or you want it to break late. I'm not sure where mine was set, but it did stop and it didn't notice that early. So that's really good. Now, I don't know if it'll start us up again. It's supposed to have the stop and go function, which I haven't used. Yeah, it doesn't. Now, do I have to make it go? Sorry, guys, this is the first time I'm trying the stop and go just because I were working at home, so I'm not sitting in Route 17 traffic all day. All right, so now I don't think this cruise control or the lane keep is actually working. It's supposed to be working. It's telling me that it is, but it's not green. So maybe it's not gonna function here. Yeah, cause I'm already losing speed. All right, so now it's going back. I don't know why everybody stopped there. There didn't seem to be a reason. I think it's just a sunny day. People are probably heading upstate. All right, so now it's steering for me. It's asking me four seconds past. Everything is flashing yellow. I don't know if you could see that. To warn me to grab the wheel. It's braking because the person in front of me is braking. Now it's asking me to grab the wheel again. I'm not going to, and I'm gonna see it. All right, so now it gave me the, it beeped a couple times, then gave me back control. All right, so now, I don't think it does a great job turning. So here it turns last minute, it goes towards that car, it turns. It goes straight again, it turns. So if you're, if you're driving yourself, you're just gonna turn it once and you're gonna look ahead. The further you look ahead, the less you actually have to turn, right? The more gradual the turn. So this, I feel like it's looking, you know, five or six feet in front of me, not 50 feet in front of me. So it kind of turns at the last minute. All right, I'll put my hands on there. So I, I, just, I honestly think, and it's just me, I must be old school. Keeping your hand here kind of defeats the purpose. I don't trust the steering 100%. We know that the braking works well but I don't see it changing lanes very well. And it needs a really big gap, so let's try to demonstrate that here. It needs a real big gap to actually change lanes, and now it'll change, but it won't stop me, so it keeps going. So again, now I'm gonna to go to the left. It'll change lanes when it's clear with the signal, at least I think it's doing that. All right, so the battery is ending on my GoPro, so I'm gonna end this here. All right, so I switched lanes, I signaled right, but see, it keeps going. I, I guess I'm supposed to cancel the signal and it'll stop, but I haven't had that experience even canceling the signal. So let me know in the comments below. I can get it to change lane, see it's not following the lane there either. So sometimes I think everything's gotta be green for it to working. So it's telling me the following distance is working, but not the lane keeping. And there is no guardrail here. See, now the lane keeping is back. So I don't think it could do the lane keeping good enough or long enough for actually me to use it. So that's my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments below. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I will see you next time.